Konnichiwa, it's Koneku here, and today's video is an update on my pastel room. Before we get into the pastel room tour update, if you are new here and you haven't already, please consider clicking the subscription button down below to become a part of this pastel and magical family. So I'm always changing this room around. I always want it to be more and more pastel. I always have more bits and pieces that are going up on the wall to kind of add to the pastel touch of this room. This room is where I do my filming, so I often refer to it as my studio room as well. Before I get into the tour, I also just want to link my old pastel room tour video. So if you're interested in watching that first and then watching this one to see what the changes are, because I probably won't be able to mention every little thing that I changed because it's been a while since I filmed that video. Alright, so entering through the doorway we still have this plastic container that's full of random pieces for cosplay, some older stuff, and just extra stuff that I don't know what to do with right now. And then I have this piece of fabric over it. One of my Rilakkuma plushes is just chilling out here. I found um, my old water baby that's kind of got no water in it, but it's super cute. It has a bunny outfit, so I stuck it in this room. And I have some items here that were sent to me by a shop that I'm promoting. So I'm going to do a video or some outfits about that soon. So I have that in here. And I've got lots of tights and socks here and a pair of pastel socks here, like thigh-high socks. And I'm actually thinking of doing a video or some photos about all my tights and socks because I have so, so many. And I think that might be kind of fun to do. There's loads more of socks and tights, both my closet in my room and my closet in here. Update on this. So I think one of my cats jumped up and like sat on this so it is broken unfortunately I might just try to super glue it together but eh, it's kind of messed up it had already had a piece broken off so I don't know maybe eventually I'll get like a replica of her wand and I haven't framed or put up this but it was at my grandparents actually so I brought it over and it's this super cool, colorful Sakura little poster. So eventually I'll put that up and I might just throw it up on the wall there. <laughs> Turning back over here behind the door, I actually put my panty and stocking poster, like fabric poster. It's very pastel. There was this big space behind the door um, because the wall kind of curves like that for the closet. I wasn't sure what I was going to put there and I thought I would put this one since it is a little bit more of a risque poster so you know it can go behind the door. Alright back over to the bed area and the wall that's behind where I sit to film. So I did a separate video which I will link above of me setting up these shelves and I play around a little bit with what I've got up there and how I've got it organized. As I get new stuff too, I try to add that in a little bit. Got my pin collection slowly growing and I have some little canvases and frames that I've painted. I still need to get a little matching canvas that I cover in fabric to put um, like button pins on because those are push pins. I would love to possibly put up 
you know, just a plain white shelf or some art pieces up there as well since there's a nice blank space and I really like having lots of stuff on the wall if you didn't notice. I think this section is pretty much the same besides having a few extra items of clothing that I didn't have before and maybe new shoes. There's a few new plushies. I believe all my new ones were from Halcon, so I'll link that video. I've got some candy. And my Sailor Moon blanket. Tripod pretty much just hangs out around here. Same with that one light box, my equipment box. This was in my craft room, but it's very pastel and it fits better in here, so I brought it over. There's Loki. Hi Loki. You're not very pastel. That's okay. You're allowed in here anyway. I still have some bits and bobs of like pastel things or things that I am moving into the other room in here. I have an electric guitar um, that I kind of stopped practicing quite a while ago. Just been way too busy with all the things that I'm trying to do. The case itself is black but the guitar inside is like a mint bluish color so of course it's super cute it'd be cool to put it up on the wall but I have no idea where I would mount it oh look there's papers of songs I was trying to learn but yeah I actually forgot that I put that sticker on there it looks like the whitish area is fading to like a cream color and whatnot. <laughs> Poor thing. I really need to clean it and still have my pink little garbage can over here and a little nightstand that I put a pastel crocheted like cloth on it. This still needs a frame. It's artwork that I got from Halcon and then that will go up on the wall. And I've just got some pastel pieces over here, Polly Pockets, a wooden box that I painted, another box that I painted, some pastel pom-poms and beads, a mix of wallets and little bags and whatnot, all super pastel, or at least a bit pastel, little candle and wooden frame that I painted but just scrapbook paper in the center and my Hello Kitty mug. One thing that's not pastel are these black <laughs> curtains and I definitely would love to get like a pale pink or pale blue or something instead but you know we'll see. And my Madoka Magica fabric poster. I just brought Super Sonico up today, my wall scroll. I have quite a few wall scrolls and Super Sonico wall scrolls, but this was the most pastel one, so I thought I'd bring it into this room. This shelf was in the craft room, but of course it's pastel and has some anime figures on it, so I brought it in here. This shelf is also new, got it at Walmart. There's room at the top there because I actually have a Sailor Moon wand that is coming in the mail. I'm super excited about that. It's not the Crescent Moon one, but it's super cute and pink. Uh, it's a cheaper version. It's not an official replica. I'm sorry, I don't have money. I think of... Uh, the official replica that I saw of this one. It was larger and it was also like a hundred dollars, so maybe one day. <laughs> Got 
got this little shelf with little knickknacks. Still have my whiteout board, but I have some new magnets. And I added some stickers over here. My round chair. Still full of Loki hair. My husband's parents got this for me for my birthday, and it's still inflated, so it's still in here. I got cloud cards, piggy bank, this wobbly handmade heart-shaped yarn thing that I made that I'm probably going to get rid of because I'm running out of space up here. This that I painted and put like the decadent stuff on, card capture Sakura figure. Some pens, phone case, pins, my Pusheen cup just has water in it right now. And I think these are pretty much the same as last time. They've just got like stuff in the baskets. So I got cute pastel baskets to kind of counteract the clutter. <laughs> And this random frame down here, which I want to put a wedding picture of John and I in it. And there's a spot on the other side to hang something. I don't know what's going to go there yet, but yeah. And my mirror is still in the same spot. It's really plain over here, but when I take my pictures for Instagram, if any of this area shows up, like I don't really want it to be cluttered and there is a lot that goes on in the background. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this area, if anything, like some art or shelves might go up there. I just, I don't really have anything to put up there right now, necessarily, so. And my cosplay closet in other studio light is over there. I'm just going to quickly show in here since I did a whole separate video talking about this cosplay closet. So I've got my costumes mainly hung up to the right with some items kind of at the bottom right now. And this is still the same and it's relatively organized the same but I brought this in here that used to be over in that corner right there so i brought that into the closet since it's black and it did have pastel fabric over it before to kind of be all pastel in the room but it's just easier to have all of my cosplay stuff and accessories in here even though i do have some stuff under the bed but a lot of the pieces like head pieces some neck pieces and gloves are in here. Got some like bows and like belt pieces like that are like fabric but thicker. And I've got, I moved like my tights and socks into there since it was a little bit bigger. I've got like specific cosplay socks and stockings in there. Some sh cosplay shirts, arm sleeve type um, things, so actually these gloves should be over here. Few head accessories, because most of them are in there, but these ones are more like headsets. Skirts are packed in there, and I've got some skirts on the ground that are mainly like fashion skirts, so. And then the bottom three are wigs. And I've got some bits and bobs up there, some wigs, or wig pieces. My diva neck piece is hanging out there. Finally looks nice and not crooked. It seems to be moving a little bit, but we have a heat gun now if we need to fix it again. And some random stuff is shoved back there. Hey, Loki. So I also have a makeshift rug going on on the gr on the floor. It's just this pastel blanket because I really want like a pastel rug of some sort or like two. I feel like a carpet would help bring out that extra pastelness in this room. And so like for photos and stuff, I just kind of have a pastel floor 
and I can like crop it a bit so you do see a bit of the carpet in the back but so there is my updated pastel room tour. If you have any questions at all or would like a separate video about anything specific, let me know. I could probably do an updated wig video to be honest. I've gotten quite a few of those through giveaways, sponsorships. If you like this type of video, please give it a big thumbs up so that I know that you like this video and I can do more of this type of video. I hope that you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching! Bye!